Now that you know how to make a paint, a pigment that you can mix into a paint, you will need to know how to make paintbrushes. Well, if you find any feathers, you can make easily paintbrushes out of them. So if you find any feathers all around the place, from small ones to really big ones, swan or goose feathers, keep them safe and I'll show you how to make a paintbrush from them. Basically the process of how to make a feather paintbrush, um, usually you want to use big feathers, for example goose or swan feathers, because they have a really long and really thick uh, bone. So you want to feed the top of the feather through the bottom of it. And normally you should end up with a nice little paintbrush like that, perfect for the field. So, once you have your feather, you will have a look and try to find out where the white part really is there. You don't really need it, so we'll cut just down there. Using a knife, any other knife, you can just push, turn the feather, push, turn, push, turn. This way it doesn't squish it too much, you see. So you avoided the white bit, and now at the bottom of the feather, you don't want to cut it too big. You just want to make a little hole, or to genuinely cut just the very, very end of it. Here you go. You don't need much more than that. You don't want it too wide, otherwise it won't hold your feather very well. And you will see that inside the feather, you have a tiny little bit um, of bone that stays. All right, here you go. Ideally, you want to work with a needle, a spike, a thorn, or a little branch. Now you don't have anything inside it anymore. If it's not open enough, just push it through. Be very careful not to split this part of the feather, otherwise you have to start again. If it's not big enough, just recut it a little tiny bit. Here you go. Perfect. Right, now you want to deal with your feather. Store it somewhere. This one is not a very, very good example because it twists, you see. But the principle is, with your nails, just make sure you have enough of the feather. So separate it once, twice on the other side. Now you will have to hold the top of the feather and gently pull the sides of it, being very careful not to break the bone in the middle. So pull it, there you go. Move your fingers down, pull again, move your fingers down, pull again, and there you go. Do that on both sides. Be very careful, this is the stage. It can very easily break. Once it's passed, just pull on the feather. You don't need to completely peel it. I mean, that should be enough. Measure with the bottom of the feather, here you go, about that length. Give it about half an inch more, just for security. Up, we'll just cut there. There you go. And that's it, you have the two interesting parts of the feather, so both the top and the bottom. Now, this part might not fit through, or easily, it does. <laughs> it does fit through uh, the smaller end of the feather. So you just push it down and what you can do is making sure your feather goes the way you want it. So you fold it a little and you just push it through, fold a bit, push it through and you can pull now and adjust how long you want to make it or how tight you want to make it. This one is a very soft feather on the top so it will be a, a bit of a wide paintbrush, no problem at all. If you find a really pointy feather, especially the duck or goose feathers, they make lovely, really sturdy paintbrushes like that. Doesn't look like much, but it's much sturdier than this one. And you can make very fine lines from the top, uh, the top of the feather and just use it as you wish. There you go. So these are different examples of paintbrushes you can make. Um, the very simplest one, really, is this one. It's a chewed twig. So you have to find something that is not poisonous, like debarked willow, for example, and you have to chomp between your, um, your back teeth, chomp on it, turn it, chomp, turn it, chomp, and continue doing that until all the fibers are separated. Uh, these are two paintbrushes made out of animal hair, that's pig, Mangalitsa pig, and that's horse hair. 
These are quite thin and fine paintbrushes. That's a duck feather, but a very naturally pointed one. These are quite rare to find, so if you're lucky enough to have one like that, keep it. Um, and this one is just a pigeon feather, and it has a very, very pointy top, so you can make very fine lines, and then, um, and then just paint with the rest of the paintbrush. That's all it is. And then sharpen twigs. You can even use grass, actually. Um, just a bunch of grass that you tie up together, a bit like this, on a stick or not. Paint with it, cut it to shape, and here you go.